In this session, we'll see about sorter transformation. So, sorter transformation sorts data in ascending or descending order according to the specified sort key. So, in the previous aggregator transformation, we already developed a mapping which will calculate the total salaries of the employees in each department. So, we are going to use the same mapping here. We'll add a sorter transformation here which will sort the data based on department IDs and it we can use it as a sorted input data in the aggregator transformation. So first let's create a sorter transformation here. We'll take employee ID, salary and department ID here. So in the properties tab go to ports and we are using department ID as a sort key and uh, we can change here whether it is ascending sort or the descending order. So as of now we want it as ascending. Next if you check advanced properties, the distinct here treats the output rows as distinct. The data integration service discards the duplicate rows compared during the sort operation. The case sensitive option determines whether data integration service consider case when sorting data. If you enable the case sensitive property, the data integration service sorts uppercase characters higher than lowercase characters. The null treated row option, if we check this, it treats null values as lower than any other value. The sorter cache size determines the maximum amount of memory required to perform the sort operation and the work directory here is where uh, it creates uh, temporary files while it sorts data and tracing level is the amount of detail that appears in the log for this transformation. As of now we are not going to change any of these here. So next let's connect it to the aggregator. So in the aggregator, since you are using a sorted output, go to the advanced tab and check on the sorted input here. So this will improve the performance of the aggregator transformation. Next let's validate this mapping. Okay and run. Okay. Now let's check the data here. So here we see that the data is in ascending order and the total salaries here. For more information on Informatica, go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com. Thank you.